Hello everyone, welcome back to our video. May God pour countless blessings and graces upon you. Today, we embark on a journey of exploration, delving deep into a story that resounds with profound wisdom and boundless compassion that He bestows upon us in His boundless love. Guided by God's eternal love and fortified by His abundant blessings, our hearts are open to receive His sacred light, and our minds are receptive to His wisdom. Amen. Before discussing today's topic, let's pray, offering our supplications to God the Father, O Lord God Almighty, in the name of Jesus Christ, your beloved Son, whom you sacrificed to save us, your pitiful children, from the fires of hell, please hear our prayers. We offer you our humble sacrifices. We accept challenges and sufferings as a means to bring redemption to souls in the day of warning. We beseech you to grant forgiveness to sinners who may find it hard to return and receive your mercy to offer the necessary sacrifices and repent before you. Amen. I hope you enjoy the video and subscribe to this YouTube channel to stay updated with the latest information. Join us on this journey and listen to this video until the very end. Type Amen if you believe, may God always bless you. In today's video, we share an astonishing story revolving around a nun with the ability to prophesy about the future of the church and the world. This nun, known by the name Maria Teresa, has disclosed profound insights into the impact of Pope Francis and made shocking revelations about the fate of two popes, affirming that they are in hell. The messages from the Virgin Mary are both a warning and a call to prayer, urging us to take heed of the impending dangers. Maria Teresa, a 50-year-old nun belonging to the Dysalcarites order in Spain, has led a life of quiet contemplation in the convent. From a young age, she was bestowed with the gift of prophecy, receiving mystical visions from Jesus, the Blessed Mother, angels, and saints. Through these sacred revelations, she has unveiled secrets that illuminate the past, present, and future of the Church and the world. Although Maria Teresa did not actively seek these visions, she accepted them with humility and obedience, faithfully sharing the messages under the guidance of her superiors and confessors. One of the most significant visions pertains to the future of Pope Francis. In this vision, Pope Francis is depicted amidst a terrifying storm, symbolizing the challenges and tribulations that will test the Church and the world. Despite these trials, the nun has witnessed the steadfastness of the Pope, his unwavering commitment to guide the Church through the storm, and his ultimate triumph, foretelling a new spiritual awakening. In an even more astonishing and alarming revelation, Maria Teresa, the humble nun with the gift of prophecy, witnessed a scene that deeply moved her. It is a scene that will challenge the very essence of her faith as she saw two popes, John Exii and Paul VI, condemned to the depths of hell. These two popes, who presided over the Catholic Church during the tumultuous times of the Second Vatican Council, were viewed by her as false shepherds who betrayed their sacred duty to protect the Church and the faithful. Serious allegations were leveled against them, claiming that they pursued a modernist agenda, a theological movement that some viewed as straying from the traditional teachings of the Church. In Maria Theresa's vision, these two popes were seen as architects of a complete overhaul diametrically opposed to the timeless teachings of Jesus Christ and the sacred traditions of the Church. The accusations were grave, indicating that they deliberately introduced changes that not only challenged but also threatened the very foundations of faith. Even more shocking and sorrowful is the accusation that, in some way, they collaborated with forces hostile to the Church. In her vision, they were seen as having entered dark alliances with those seeking to undermine the essence of the Catholic Church, sowing discord and dissent from within. The staggering vision of two popes facing eternal punishment profoundly challenges faith in the infallibility of the Pope and the sanctity of the Papal Office. 
To convey her serious vision, Maria Theresa composed a heartfelt letter addressed to the current Pope, earnestly beseeching him to take action. She implored him to consider revoking the beatification of these two popes and publicly denounce the errors that led them astray. This gripping and worrisome story serves as a powerful reminder of the immense weight we must bear in our current circumstances, both within the Church and the world at large. It calls us to discern deeply the signs of our times, to make choices rooted in goodness rather than malice, and to maintain unwavering faith. The prophets chosen by Jesus and Mother Mary play the role of our guides and protectors, offering profound insights and heavenly guidance. Additionally, Pope Francis, as the Vicar of Christ, leads us with firm authority, guiding us towards righteousness and sacred strength. Dear brothers and sisters, Maria Theresa's vision has spurred reflection, theological debate, and soul-searching within the Church, emphasizing the intricate interplay between faith, tradition, and the evolving challenges of the modern world. As we conclude, let us pray together, seeking purification and renewal for the Church, blessings for Pope Francis, enlightenment for the prophets, and conversion for those who oppose us. Heavenly Father, in our sincere prayer, we beseech you to pour down your sacred grace upon your Church, enveloping us in the loving veil of purification and renewal. May your guiding light illuminate our path, inspiring steadfast faith, unity, and wholehearted dedication within our sacred congregation. We support Pope Francis, your chosen servant, and humbly implore you to bestow upon him abundant blessings, wisdom, and unwavering insight. Grant him the strength to shepherd your flock with love, hidden discretion, and unshakable clarity. Lord, illuminate the minds of your prophets so that they may receive your sacred light and boldly proclaim your truth. Grant them courage to speak your word and guide your children towards righteousness. Finally, we pray for our adversaries, that your boundless love and mercy may touch their souls, encouraging reconciliation and peace in our world. Amen. Thank you for watching until the end of the video. What are your thoughts on today's topic? Leave a comment below, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, press the notification bell to receive updates on the latest videos. In closing, I wish you all a day filled with positive energy. May God watch over you. Amen.